Okay, so today we have a Stitch Fix unboxing. Yes, I was very excited to come home. I just got home from work and I found this box. It was actually supposed to be delivered tomorrow, but I guess, you know, sometimes it only takes two days to get to Hawaii. So, um, yeah, so I thought about maybe filming tomorrow when I have better lighting, but I think, I don't know, it's, it's, I have a hard time waiting, so I'm just going to go ahead and open it today. Um, so about Stitch Fix, um, if you don't know, it's a subscription service where you get five items and it could be clothing, accessories, shoes, uh, jewelry, um, but you know, it's, you, you can actually have input as to what you get and you have um, a stylist, a personal stylist that comes and will actually pick out items for you. So I actually um, first tried Stitch Fix about three or four years ago. The idea of just an ordinary person having a personal stylist was to me kind of kind of cool. I went ahead and I, I um, filled out you fill out an online survey and um, you know there's like a, yeah like a questionnaire. You know they recommend that you do a Pinterest board or you start a Pinterest board and pin the type of clothing that you like. Um, you can send them like a note as to what you're looking for, and yeah, and then you get a fix. And basically. The styling fee is $20, so you're basically paying $20 for somebody to go and style you, pick out five items and send it to you. And then there's like, um, there's really no obligation to buy or keep any of the items. So if you send it back, you're basically out $20. And that's, um, that's you know, not great, but $20 to have a personal stylist help you is, I think, worth it. And if you do keep anything, like even one item, you can apply that $20 to the that item and um, if you buy all five items that you send then you get 25% off so I don't know so so far so I did the fix three years ago and to be honest I thought uh, it was kind of expensive and yeah I, I, I so I I didn't do another fix for not until like earlier this year and it's just because I, I thought about it again and I had actually I needed clothes I'd kind of gone up a size you know and um, I was kind of going through this period where I go shopping, which I love to go shopping, but I just wasn't finding anything. So I thought, maybe I'll just try Stitch Fix again. So I tried it again, like early this year, and I found some, I think I kept maybe two things, but there was you know, one thing that was really, really special, I thought, it was like a, a maxi dress, and I never tried maxi dresses before, because I'm actually 5'1", so I'm very short, and I just figured, why? <laughs> And then, but it fit and it was um, very nice, actually. So anyway, let's get a, let's go, uh, let's get started with the unbox. This is actually kind of a big box. I don't think my other boxes are this big. Okay, so here's the prepaid postage thing that you can just stick your stuff back in and just drop it in any mailbox, and which is great. So I don't want to lose that. And then here, I always like looking at the kind of layers of clothes. I think it looks so nice. They really package it nicely. And even though this is a fall fix, and I live in Hawaii, so honestly, I don't have a lot of need for warm weather clothes. Or is it cool weather clothes? But anyway, warm stuff. I don't. But I am going to go on a trip to the mainland later this, like in three weeks. So yeah, so I, I did request some stuff maybe that I could use for my trip. So, okay, so with every fix, you always get, oops, that's the invoice, which we'll go over later. Um, we always get a nice note from your stylist, along with these very nice cards, which kind of show how you can style um, the items that they sent, with some suggestions. And, oh, okay. Um, it's Holly, so I, I believe I've had her a couple times before, and she's very good. Um, she said, hi Tisha, I'm so glad to style you again. How was your cruise? And I did go on a cruise to Alaska. Um, I'm sure it was just magical. Um, and then she goes on to say, let's see, uh, I do have, for my upcoming trip, I have a fix with some great pieces for you. I asked for, you asked for casual, which I did. So I started with a burgundy floral dress by French Grey. I've never heard of that. But um, I know Stitch Fix does tend to have a lot of their own brands, I noticed. So those are brands you can't find in the stores. 
So the first item, wow, okay, hmm, I don't know. Actually, this is not bad, it's, it's, a, it's a dress and it's um, kind of a bright coral color by Verse, Verse, Verse. Um, and it's just like a t-shirt dress, a long t-shirt dress. So that's, that's pretty cute. And let's see, the second item. Oh wow, I, I really like this print. I do love florals, I love pinks, and I love this kind of burgundy. Oh, this is nice. This is definitely something I, prop, I hope fits, and it's in a size medium. I'm usually a medium petite, so I don't know, we'll see. But it, it is a kind of a nice, looks like a tank top type of flare dress. That's pretty. Um, okay, and the next, oh, these are actually very nice. I'm so far kind of liking this. Oh, okay, it, and everything seems to be in a size medium, which I don't know. I'm, I'm usually about a medium petite, which kind of translates to um, a medium. A medium petite is more like a small in regular sizes, so yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it's all right. We'll just see. You just never know until you try it out. And oh, and I did ask for some colored jeans because I don't really have too many pairs of colored jeans, so. And I don't definitely have jeans this color, but these are actually very nice. They're colored, yet they're not crazy. Uh, so this is a uh, just black brand, and boy, these are a lot of brands I've never heard of. Um, and it's in the size 28 petite. Okay, and my last. Wow, this sweater looks like it's very warm. Hmm, it's really nice though. I just don't know. <laughs> oh boy, wow. I'm not sure. It's like a cow neck sweater. It looks like it'll be really long, so you could probably wear it with leggings. But uh, yeah, I like it, but I'm not sure if, you know, how many times I'm gonna be able to wear it in Hawaii. But we'll see, I mean, yeah, it's very cute. So um, what I'll do is I will go ahead and try everything on and then we'll see. I mean, actually, I really... Okay, here's the first dress um, and it's a size medium. I, I paired it with this statement necklace from Forever 21. I've had it for years, so I don't know, but I thought it might look nice. I love statement necklaces and dresses. Um, yeah, it's okay. I'm not like crazy about it, but I don't know. I mean, it's okay. I, I definitely don't normally gravitate towards like an orange color or peach or whatever this is, but it actually looks pretty nice. I think um, depending on how much it is, I could probably wear this and it's very comfortable and it's not too short. Um, I think it's actually a good length. So yeah, I mean, as far as the quality, fabric feels a little thin, but it's, it's not too bad. And I mean, yeah, it's nice. It kind of reminds me of something you'd get maybe at TJ Maxx or possibly H&M. But anyway, okay, here's the second dress, and I do really like the, uh, the print. It's very nice, and I just bought this. This is a new necklace I just got from J. Crew Factory. <laughs> Goes very well with this. Um, yeah, it's a little bit skimpy for me, but I mean, you can always wear a sweater. I don't like showing this much arm, but it's okay. Yeah, and I think the overall fit is fine. The length is okay, and it's a pretty flattering cut. I think it's called Fit and Flare, but I'm not totally sure. But yeah, I think it's nice. So we'll see. Um, the fabric is um, kind of a crepey knit material, and it's um, pretty substantial. It's not too thick, though. But yeah, it's pretty. Okay, so here is the top, and it's actually really nice. I kind of like the print, and it has kind of like this kind of sleeve with the tab so I guess I don't know if you're supposed to roll it maybe you are and I just I didn't do that it's a little bit low so I probably wear like a camisole underneath or a tank top and um, yeah it's nice and it ha it's a it's a little long but it's not too long it's just about the right length for like a tunic I guess and yeah I think it's actually pretty nice it's, it feels like polyester so it's like hundred percent polyester which I don't mind because you can it's wash and wear and these are the, <laughs> maybe I'll have to turn the camera down. These are the, the jeans. <laughs> they're very um, green. They're nice. They're a little on, oh, <laughs> shucks. 
Yikes. They're very um, green and a little, they're very, very clingy, very stretchy. I mean, they're comfortable, definitely. And I don't know. I, I think they're okay. <laughs> Not really sure. But yeah, we'll see. I mean, as far as color jeans go, if I were to buy color jeans, I think I'd like these. Uh, we'll just see how much they cost and if, if I feel they're worth it. You know, actually, I found some nice, nice jeans that were colored from guess where, Costco. But anyway, yeah, let's let's give these a try. Okay, so here is. Let's turn this up. Here's the sweater. It has a nice cowl neck. It's incredibly warm, and actually, I don't know what the temperature is today in Hawaii, but it's like probably high 80s with high humidity, so I'm dying here. But um, sleeves are a bit long, just saying. If I can, let's just turn it down like this, you can see. Yeah, yeah, these are, these are long. It's cute, I like it, but it doesn't really fit me. And it's really, really hot. And although it'd be really nice to wear with jeans or leggings, you know, like if I were living on the mainland or um, but. I don't know, I'm gonna have to think about it. Huh. So let's just go over all the prices of everything. Um, the um, skinny jeans, th those were the teal green skinny jeans were by Just Black. They're um, $88. So $88 for these jeans, they're very comfortable. I do like the color and you know, they're really stretchy. They are more like legging or jeggings, you know, cause they don't have real pockets, but definitely I like them. So um, I definitely will consider that. Uh, $88 so is a little high, I think, for me, for jeans that I might not wear all the time. Maybe if it was a more practical color. Okay, next, uh, Collective Concepts Mint and Pleat Detail Blouse in Navy. That's This one is $68. So $68, yeah, it's a nice blouse. I mean, I'm pretty sure I could make some use of it. I do like it, but again, $68, mm, yeah, okay, that's a little high. I mean, as, as a whole, Stitch Fix, Prices do tend to be more, to be honest, than I normally spend on items if I were just to go out and shop on my own. Uh, okay, the um, black Retro G, Retro D brand, Jackson textured cowl neck pullover is $78. And this is a very substantial piece, so I do believe $78 is a reasonable price for that, but um, this is definitely going back because um, I, I don't think I'll be able to make use of it, um, given that I'm in Hawaii and it is a very warm piece. Okay, moving on. The um, burgundy colored French, uh, French gray brand aerial knit dress, which was actually my favorite piece. This um, dress had a beautiful print and it was $54, which to me is a very reasonable price for this dress and I can definitely make use of it. I mean, I can just, probably even wear it to work if I, you know, wear it with a sweater. And yeah, and it also could be a casual dress too. So I like, I like this a lot. Um, and lastly was the coral colored Verse brand lion knit dress. And this is very cute too. Um, and it was only $44. Although, you know, I'm, I'm not sure. I mean, it, it fit me really nicely, but I'm not sure how it's gonna, um, how it's gonna wear. You know, like if I wash it, it might, might shrink and that'll be it. So I, I'm not sure if this would be something that I, I could maybe, it would be a one wear kind of thing. But anyway, yeah, so that, that's it for my, uh, my fix this month. And um, yeah, so thank you for watching. Um, hope to see you soon and hope you enjoyed this. Um, so yeah, take care. Bye now.